Okay. So in this question, we're given data about the flight of a golf ball, okay, from the table. So x represents the distance that the ball is traveling, and y is the height of the ball after they hit it. What other information are you told in this question? The maximum height of the ball is 30 meters. You're told the maximum value. Where is the max value located? What part of the parabola? The maximum value always has to be located at the vertex because that's the highest point, right? If the parabola opens down, it's the maximum y value. So even looking at your table, the maximum height is 30. So we know that the vertex has to be located at 60, 30. What does the x value of the vertex also tell you? Okay, remember the vertex tells us two things. It tells us the maximum, the highest point, and it tells us the axis of symmetry. Okay, so I'm going to draw a curve here as best as I can. Oops. Okay, and I know this has to come down at some point. We're going to figure out how far down it goes. We know that this point here is the vertex, and we know that there is an axis of symmetry at 60. This is the middle, or imaginary line that passes through the vertex, the center of the parabola. Okay, well, we, do you know one of the x-intercepts from looking at the graph? What is it? Okay. We know that the axis of symmetry is halfway between the two x-intercepts, right? It divides the parabola in half. Well, if one of the x-intercepts is at zero, halfway from zero to the axis of symmetry is 60, where do you think the other x-intercept has to be then? 120. Good. So now you can actually draw your full parabola. We know that the golf ball has to hit the ground after how many meters it's tra that it's traveled. Yeah, it travels 120 meters. I didn't label this. This is distance in meters. And then this is height in meters. Okay, so we know the golf ball traveled, the highest point it got to was 30 meters from the ground. It started on the ground, and eventually, when it hit the ground, how far had it gone? 120 meters. Good. Okay, you're asked to find an equation for this parabola, for this curve. Well... We know x-intercepts, what form should we write it in first? Factored form. We know r and s, do we know an x and a y? Do we know any point on this parabola? Yeah, we have lots. We have one, two, three, four, five. Pick one and plug it in. So we're going to use the x-intercepts of 0 and 120. And the point you want to use, your x and y, you want to use a vertex. So that's fine. What's the x value of the vertex? What's the y value of the vertex? Okay, so we don't know a. We gotta find a. So plug in all these values and solve for a. Okay, so y is 30. So 30 equals a. x is 60. r is 0. x is 60. s is 120. Simplify and solve for a. 60, 60 take away 120 is, what's negative 60 times negative 60? Negative 3600, A, divide by negative 3600. Put this in lowest terms, let's leave it as a fraction. Negative one over 120 is your answer, okay? Okay, so now that we know A, we can write this in factored form, but then I want you to come up with the equation in standard form, so Y equals negative 1 over 120, x minus 0, x minus 120. So let's put this into standard form now. x take away nothing is x. So I'm going to rewrite this to make it easier. x take away 0 is x, but then I still have this x minus 120. Which part of this do we expand first? This and this, right? So y equals negative 120. What's x times x? x squared. x squared. Negative 120x. Now we distribute our a value. 
negative 1 over 120 times x squared. Negative 1 over 120 x squared. What's negative 1 over 120 times negative 120x? Negative times negative is? 120 times 1 is 120 divided by 120? 1. So I can just write x. That's it. That's the answer. Made with DoodleCast Pro.